have a date with the angel. Starring Betty White. Bill Williams as Gus Angel. Presented by the Plymouth Dealers of America, who proudly sell and service the beautiful new Plymouth for 1957. The time, about eight months after Vicki and Gus Angel were married. The characters, gold-plated. The plot, aloha. In Hawaiian, that means good day, goodbye, good grief. <laughs> What are you looking for? Those invitations I gave you to mail. I mailed them. You what? Well, you asked me to mail them, so I did. But you never do. <laughs> <laughs> they usually ride around in your coat pocket for days. Gus, I've lost my nerve. Clients or no clients, we have no business giving a party for people like this. What's wrong with them? Oh, it's, it's not them so much. It's what they're used to. Sweetheart, I love our house. You know that it's beautiful, but... These people come from a state. They have nine million servants, and we're going to rent one maid. Oh. <laughs> no, seriously, sweetheart. They, their servants' quarters are bigger than this whole house. They have acres of patio and, and, and fountains from Italy... Oh, darling, I'm not complaining. Just an uncomfortable feeling. Honey, the more money they have, the more insurance I can sell them. Gus, we met the Van Normans in the receiving line at their charity party. They won't even know us. The Van Normans? Of course they will. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Harry Van Norman are invited to... Mm, Angel? Angel? Aren't those the people we met in Rome? No, those were the spigots. What was that couple's name in Bermuda, remember? Heavy set woman, very nice. Looked perfectly dreadful in diamonds. <laughs> Could have been Angel at that. What difference does it make? We're not going. Three million a day from all those oil wells, tall men. Three million. Well, they were awfully nice to us. The least we can do. <laughs> Show a little common courtesy. <laughs> I've never met them. Sweetheart, that industrial policy I told Fletcher could be just the start. And Mrs. Fletcher? She's the kind of a woman gets along with everyone. <laughs> miserable woman. Oh, honey, you've never even met young Angel's wife. Oh, I'm not talking about young Angel's wife, whoever she is. I'm talking about Carol Van Norman. What, again? It's so enchanting to meet you, Mrs. Fletcher. She said that to me at least ten times in the last month. Charles, if she told me once more that it's so enchanting to me... To now, me, now, honey, look, we'll go to the Angels' party and you can forget all about Carol Van Norman. <laughs> the Fletchers will fit in. Now, don't you worry. And so will the boss and his wife. Thank goodness for them. But the Dupre's... Gus, we've exchanged one Christmas card. Jim Dupre is the kind of a guy that really makes the party go. And once he tells his story about the homesick alligator, your worries are over. <laughs> Suppose they won't come. They'll come. A Hawaiian luau is just the sort of thing Jim Dupree will love. Mr. Ed and Mrs. James Dupree are invited to eat fish and poi with the angels. Oh, <laughs> we're going. Why, even Hawaiians won't eat fish and poi. <laughs> For weeks, I have been chained to this house by your stomach. For a luau. I wouldn't care if these people were giving a weenie bake at Pismo Beach. We're going. <laughs> we're having a caterer. We're running the decorations. And you'll be a beautiful hostess. So all you have to do is relax. Gus, I just can't. Sweetheart, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, honey. <laughs> As long as everything's going to be Hawaiian, I figured we'd put the, the buffet table about over there and, oh, maybe use palm fronds or something for a centerpiece. What do you think? Sounds wonderful. Sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, these are, these are Gus's gold-plated clients. They could put this whole patio in their barbecue pit. 
<laughs> Wilma, are you sure you and George can't make it to the party? Oh, no, honey. It's George's lodge night, and you know... Hello, Mrs. Angel. Hello, Mr. Finley. Hello, Mrs. Angel's friend. <laughs> Hello. Come up the street. I remember. We love him, but it's nice when he goes away. He likes to help. I'd better remind Gus to lock the back gate tonight. Get that, Gus. Okay. Take it easy, honey. Relax. Wilma, George, come on in. Hi, Gus. Here are your little helpers. <laughs> Well, this is a big day. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Oh, dirty. She scrubbed the woodwork five times already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all your Hawaiian junk get here? I've already started to put it up out back. Those the Hawaiian records? Yeah. Hey, Gus, here's a butte. Music to clean fish by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I glad to see you. <laughs> Hi, George. Hi, Vicky. Darling, did you clean out the incinerator? I can't picture the Van Normans checking it, but yes, I did. Now, you decorators go get to decorating, hmm? Hawaii calls, Wahini. <laughs> so happens I brought my bikini. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Gus, clouds and all that. Okuriya, Wahini. <laughs> Hello, George. Hi, Vicky. Hello, Wilma. Hi, Wahini. Honey, the place looks absolutely spotless. Now, the best thing for you to do is relax. For some reason, that word just seems to tighten me up. Oh, uh, does Gus know where you are at the palm tree? I drew in blueprints. Someday I'm going to catch one of those special delivery boys. <laughs> Royal Hawaiian caterers. Here are the people who are doing all the real work. <laughs> what is this, an old Hawaiian custom? Send you the bill and then send you the food? <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Oh, that means hello. I thought it meant goodbye. <laughs> well, it, it means hello and goodbye. It means both. <laughs> Aloha. Please be informed that the Royal Hawaiian Food and Catering Service is going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Thanking you for your past patronage, we regretfully say aloha. <laughs> that one means goodbye. <laughs> means no food. What are we going to do? Well, now, now, don't, don't get panicky, Vicky. There are plenty of other caterers. We'll get look in the yellow pages and find one or two and pack them, okay? No, it has to be Hawaiian food. Well, thanks anyway. You can cross off the Zelda catering service. What's the next one? That's the end of the caterers. Next comes Cat. <laughs> Acme Cat Hospital. Call them. See if they'll take me as a patient. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Nothing. Forget it. It's too wild. Nothing's too wild. What is it? Well, I was just thinking... She's too weird. Oh, Wilma, please. Well, Olivia Gordon? Olivia Gordon, why? Well, she used to run a rather well-known catering service. Well, we'll call her. What about those horrible jokes she tells? All I care about right now is getting food into these people. What am I doing? I don't know her number. <laughs> George, you've got it upside down. Gus, how can you get a fish net upside down? <laughs> it doesn't look right. It's either upside down or inside out. Do you suppose Mrs. Gordon knows anything about catering a party like this? She's better, old buddy. Hello, Mr. Angel. Oh, hello, Mr. Finley. Hello, Mr. Angel's friend. <laughs> what? Can I help? I think we have things pretty much under control, Mr. Finley. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what are we waiting for? We got the net. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's all right. Uh, but I must remember to lock the back gate tonight, just in case. <laughs>
Oh, he speaks soprano, too. <laughs> Mrs. Gordon! <laughs> well, Vicky and I can't thank you enough for helping us out this way, Mrs. Gordon. <laughs> Nonsense, son. As the golfer said when he teed off, that's what friends are for! <laughs> Two dollar pistol. Let's roll it out in the car. Oh, Alrighty. Oh my. This is lovely, Mr. Angel. <laughs> A real live jungle. Oh, and a monkey. <laughs> Uh, hello, Mr. Clemson. Now, if you men will hold in the rest of the stuff, I'll get things started. You can't miss my car. It's the only Stanley steamer on the block. <laughs> I should look at Joe Mackman. Good night. Go on. The Plymouth Convertible. Scat. Go on. Go on. Stanley <laughs> steamer. <laughs> Gordon, I don't know how to thank you. You've no idea how important this party is. Now, don't you worry, honey. As the bee said to the hive, I'll keep things humming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dear. Did I break anything? <laughs> Mrs. Gordon, Mr. Angel's most important clients are coming tonight, and that's why they've gone to so much trouble decorating the patio. Mm. Looks like a low tide at Waikiki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They look very nice, dear. Very nice. Like low tide at Waikiki. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Gordon, what can we do to help? Uh, the best thing you could do is to stay out of the kitchen. You can help more by doing that. Oh, no. I'll never forget. It was back in 1908. Yes, I remember. I had to serve oysters. That was because Mrs. Von Eckerty sashayed off in the kitchen and stuck her nose in the lobster pot. And would you believe it, that red rascal wouldn't let go? I hear this guy laughing. No. It was cool, I know. No, we now, really now, now wait, now wait. Why don't you kiddies run in the house and tidy up a bit before your guests arrive? Pretty good idea. I'm, Go on. Well, Go I'm on, just please. here to help. Incidentally, uh, if a nice old gentleman comes around wanting to help, whatever you do. Oh, now, don't worry. I'll take care of anything. You let leave the proposition to me. Well, you I'll can't. Don't argue with me, sugar. I'm just here. run on. No, 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 Aloha. Oh, aloha yourself. I'm just a boy. <laughs> Here, wait a minute. Are you the nice old gentleman that Mrs. Angel said wanted to help? Well, I'm nice, and I'm gentle, and I always help Mrs. Angel. <laughs> you must be the one, son. <laughs> so you come with me, will you? Pick up one of these helping out here. This help today. Do you know, this reminds me, it was back in uh, 19 or 12, I believe, in Washington, D.C., no, it was Washington A.C., the Washington Athletic Club. <laughs> now, the Fletchers are from Blairsville. And the Duprays are... Gus, did you lock the back gate? No, but I will. If there's anything we don't need tonight, it's Father Finley. Here's a little something to bolster up your courage. Oh, oh it works every time. Mm. Darling, here we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. I haven't stopped a minute since I entered this house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as the man said just before the dessert, entree. <laughs> uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher, come in, come in, sir. <laughs> I'm not guilty, Your Honor, but I'll take the rap. <laughs> Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher, I'd like to have you meet my wife. Please call me Vicky, won't you? Uh, how do you do? Thank you. I'll get the punch, sweetheart. Oh, uh, Mr. Fletcher owns a factory up near Blairsville, sweetheart. Well, as a matter of fact, it's in Blairsville, Mrs. Angel. Oh, really? Uh, well, I've always wanted to go to Blairsville. Why is that? <laughs> There's a little traffic, for one thing. <laughs> Hope you like pineapple punch. Vicky made it herself. Seems <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian here today, except the people. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. This is a 
Folks. <laughs> uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dupre, uh, won't you come in, please? Oh, my dear, you are just lovely. You know you have skin just like a banjo. <laughs> oh, yes. Such a nice tone. <laughs> I'll take those if you don't mind. Oh, that lovely skunk. I do. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Dupre, I'd like you to meet my wife, Mrs. Angel. Hello. Won't you call me Becky, please? Me, I'd like you to meet the Fletcher. I'm sorry, we're late. Oh, you're not a bit late. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher, Mr. and Mrs. Dupre. How do you do? How do you do, Mr. Dupre? Uh, won't you sit down, please? Uh, I'll have one if I may. Thank you. Now, wait a minute. I'll remove some of this garbage so you can... Mrs. Gordon, that's the pineapple punch. <laughs> oh, my land, so it is. <laughs> is my face red? <laughs> She's so friendly. <laughs> you are, sir. No, thank you. I, I'm on a diet. Uh, the Fletchers are from Blairsville. <laughs> oh, Blairsville. Uh, do you know the Carries up there? No. President Edna Carey. He's in natural gas. You, you sure you don't mean Canfield? No, Carey. No, I don't know. <sighs> uh, oh, uh, could we impose on you to tell your alligator story, Mr. Dupree? Oh, yes. It's <laughs> a wonderful story. Tell if you like. <laughs> you see, there was this alligator, and he was homesick. So he said, Oh, yes, <laughs> Oh, that is a wonderful story. You see, the alligator finally said to his friend, I'm not homesick. I'm sick of my home. <laughs> <laughs> Go on and tell it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so enthusiastic. <laughs> but, but she does make such wonderful Hawaiian food. She has quite a sense of humor. Yes, she has. <laughs> the head of Gus's firm and his wife will be here pretty soon. Maybe you know them. The Malcolm? No. 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 Yeah, so much fun. Say, <laughs> why don't we all go out on the patio and wait until the others get here, huh? Uh, there's a lot cooler out there. Uh, right around the table and, and, and to the right. Yes, yeah, you very much. Yes. Oh, sweetheart, it'll be all right. Angel's resident, Gordon speaking. Mrs. Gordon, please, I'll take... Shh, keep still, I can't hear words, man, sitting. <laughs> well, my land, no. No. Don't give it another thought. <laughs> my stars, no. The angels are giving a party anyway. All right, Mr. Malcolm. <laughs> Mr. Malcolm, that's uh -huh. coming. Oh, wait. <laughs> Aren't they coming? No, no. It seems he, he has to meet somebody important at the airport. One of those last-minute things, I believe. Now, that reminds me. Back in 1902... What's the matter, Doug? Hmm? Well, the Malcolms were the only ones I actually knew. Now I've got nobody. Oh, that's not quite true. You've got me here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Gordon. Yes. That's it. Now, up we go. Oh, up we go. That's a little girl. Now, go out there and host us the heck out. <laughs> I love the Merry Merry Sunshine. It makes my heart feel bright. I love the Merry Merry Sunshine in the middle of the night. Hello. 
How do you do? Uh, where are the Van Norman? Uh, my name is Finley. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for Mr. and Mrs. Angel. Oh, uh, they're out in the backyard. Backyard. Sunshine. It makes my heart feel bright. I love the Merry May Sunshine in the middle of... <laughs> uh, Mrs. Angel, may I compliment you on the decor? Your patio has the real feel of the island. Thank you, Mrs. Fletcher. <laughs> Mrs. Angel, my husband and I were just commenting on these genuine Cantonese platters. Yes, I'm a stickler for authenticity myself. Oh, well... <laughs> No, 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 thank you. I, I'm on a diet. Oh, come on, have a pizza. Mr. Dupree's on a strict... Pizza? <laughs> oh, yeah, she can scrape off the anchovies. It won't hurt him a bit. Oh, try one of the pepperonis. <laughs> They're as hot as a $2 pistol. <laughs> Don't you have Hawaiian food there? Oh, <laughs> Hawaiian hors d'oeuvres never was my specialty. Oh, say, try one of these cold snails. They're all stuff as far as antiques. Would you love those? Try the going at all. I know being what the lady means is that, or they are rather international. Oh, sure. you're so right, Gary. You're so right. There's nothing more international than a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I can find you something plain to nibble on, Mr. Dupree's present. Uh, we'll have hot food as soon as the Van Normans get here. <laughs> What? Uh, Sarah, you mean, uh, the Harry Van Norman? Uh, Carolyn Harry. Did you ring the front doorbell? We, we were directed to the backyard. We're, we're look, looking for Mr. and Mrs. Angel. Oh, I'm her. She? I'm, I'm Mrs. Angel. You are? Oh, of course. I'm so enchanted to meet you, Mrs. Angel. <laughs> we, we really can't stay. We thought it would be nicer to come by than make a telephone call. Gus? Yes? Uh, this is Mr. Angel. <laughs> so it is. Uh, so nice of you to come. <laughs> they can only stay a minute. I would like to have you meet the Fletchers. Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher? Mr. and Mrs. Van Norman. <laughs> Uh, how do you do? How do you do? I'm so enchanted to meet you, Mrs. Fletcher. Uh, 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 darling, I, I don't think it would be fair to keep the Van Normans from the wonderful luau. Wait, wait till you try the pizza. <laughs> pizza? Oh, they have quite an Italian colony in Hawaii. Yeah. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Dupre, Mr. and Mrs. Van Norman. How do you do? Mr. and Mrs. Van... Mr. and... what they think. You did your best. That's all anybody can do. Italian food at a Hawaiian luau. And, and Mr. Finley, where did he come from? <laughs> Got to lock the back gate. I'm no prize. I haven't been able to string five intelligent sentences together all evening. Because I told you we should never try to give a party for people like this. <laughs> Everybody go to town. Come on, let's go to the pen. Change your partner, have a friend. Everybody go to town. Come on, let's go to the pen. Change your partner, have a friend. Come on, let's go to the pen. Change your partner, have a friend. Oh, hey. How about a dance where I don't have to do all the work? Let's <laughs> eat. I'm starved. Don't yeah, rush, Daisy Sunny. As the lion said to the fish pole, how about a reel? <laughs> hey, I told you the party would be a success. When you did it, huh? you forgot to lock the back gate. <laughs> hey, 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 Guy 
Got a date with an angel, gonna meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program, Top Tunes, and You Tell It, on this same network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody.